What's up with everybody? It's your man, Moyo B. And Nicole. And we're back here with another reaction video. Especially video request from Matthew mm -hmm. Min. He's a huge part of our channel. We want us to react to. Uh, top 10 True Blood stars. Where are they now? I know you watched your True Blood. I watched this one. Do you like it? I don't... Yeah, it was good. I don't think I made it through the whole series. I know oh, I yeah. watched, like, the first <laughs> two or three seasons. Yeah. Did you watch it? Is it on Netflix? I know I watched, like, the first two or three seasons. You know, yeah. I don't know. It might be on Netflix. We could check it out sometime. It's it interesting. Good. It was pretty good, but... Yeah, so we definitely thank you, Matthew, yeah, for this thank you. Gonna die right too. They're not actually immortal, but their careers live on. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today yeah. we're looking at 10 like true blood stars. Those are the two, are they now? Those are the two main stars right there. Her. Before we begin, oh, yeah, we yeah. publish new content huh? every day. She's an so be sure to subscribe oh, to yeah. our channel That's and true. ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Nah, On this list, great, we're looking but... at 10 actors from True Blood and seeing what they've been up to since the show wrapped in 2014. <laughs> she says we're all crazy. I think we might just be resilient. <laughs> Number 10, resilient. Kristen Bauer Van Stratton. Uh, Would you like some bread, Jerry? No, no thanks. Um, oh, wait, she was on that? Oh, Before her Seinfeld. role as Pamela Swinford de Beaufort, yeah. Kristen was perhaps she best known for her role on Seinfeld as Jerry's Girl girlfriend, Bill Jillian, Watt. also known as the woman with man hands, despite nearly man two hands. decades worth of work. <laughs> During True Blood's run, she also appeared in The Secret Life of the American Teenager and has since appeared in Amazon's Lore. But perhaps her meatiest role was that of Maleficent in Once Upon a Time, in seasons one and four. What kind of people are you? Threatening a child. For 2018, Kristen provided the voice of Killer Frost in Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. In short, Kristen Bauer Van Stratton has outgrown her manhand fame. <laughs> I'm listening. Number nine. Chris Bauer. Oh, what did yeah. you tell her? I told her the power got shut off. Fred, yeah. she has the biggest mouth in the building. Before his time as Andy, Chris Bauer was best known for his role as Fred Yokus on NBC's Third Watch. Although he yeah. also played Frank Sabatka on The Wire. Yeah. It's a tough call fame-wise, but Chris has remained active on television since the conclusion of True Blood, having starred in American Crime Story, Survivor's Remorse, hmm. and Law and & Order True Crime. He I also reunited with The Wire heavy. creator David yeah. Simon for The Deuce, a show about the golden age of pornography in the drug-fueled <laughs> 1970s. In 2019, he played Kirch in A Dog's Way Home, a family film that proves there's more to Bauer than blood, violence, and porn. I have not seen that one. Off of me, stupid dog. Number 8. Rutina Wesley. Yeah, she is a popular Unlike Kristen and Chris, main. True Blood was Rutina Wesley's was first major she acting wasn't. role. She was one of the main her roles, yeah. She credited role in general. The first was a step dancing movie called How She Move, and the second was an episode of Numbers. Rutina has enjoyed a prosperous career in television since the conclusion oh, of True Blood. I don't think I really she did. landed recurring roles in both Hannibal and Arrow, and she appeared in one episode oh, of The Walking Dead. Right. I knew oh, that. Since I remember 2016, that. Yeah. She's played the role of Nora yeah. on Queen Sugar, um, and this role has earned her a Black Reel Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series. He'll be okay. I just think it'll help. Number seven. Deborah Ann Wall. Oh, yeah. I love the story that you're subscribing to, that Castle Punisher, and Wilson okay. work together, is a, a complete Punisher fiction. Huh? Since She's leaving Jessica Punisher's Hamby behind her, yeah. Deborah Ann Wall has become an integral part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, at least on the small screen, having appeared as Karen Page in Daredevil, The Punisher, and The Defenders. Okay. However, film has not eluded oh, her either, water. and she's appeared in yeah, a number of in films, Escape Room, including remember? 2019's oh, yeah, Escape her. Room, a psychological horror yeah. movie. She's also made use of her Dungeons & Dragons nerdery, appearing as a guest player on Critical Role, uh, and serving as the Dungeon Master on Geek & Sundry's Relics and & Rarities. Welcome, adventurers. Whoa. Number six, Sam Trammell. I know you're yeah. Sam, you gotta, you gotta relax. Come on, why don't you go sit down? He was an accomplished stage actor long before he appeared as Sam Merlot. Sam Trammell starred in many off-Broadway productions, mm -hmm. and in 1998, he was nominated for a Tony for his role in Ah Wilderness. Just like most True Blood alums, Sam has continued in television since the show concluded in 2014. What? He appeared in four no. episodes of This Is Us and landed the role of Eric on Netflix's horror show Jesus. The Order. Oh, Trammell we should check that out. cast in the yeah, upcoming order. miniseries Reckoning. Well, and in 2019, huh? he starred in Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. Uh, no, I said it was he a horror show. He may himself for True Blood nude see. scenes, but he hasn't gone hungry since the series ended. I'm not the killer, I swear. <laughs> Number five, Ryan Quantin. I've stuffed around for most of my life, and now I've stopped. Before moving to the United States and landing the role of Jason, Ryan Quantin starred in the popular Australian soap opera Home and Away. Hmm. On it, he played a lifeguard named Vinnie Patterson, 
and he appeared in over 200 episodes between 1997 and 2002. Interesting. He eventually left the show of his own accord, wanting to move on to bigger and better things. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Needless to say, he certainly did that. Since okay. the conclusion of True Blood, Ryan has bounced between film and television before landing the starring role of Steve Hammond on The Oath, and the show's second season began its run in February 2019. Hmm. Number four, Carrie Preston. Yeah. She's drinking, Polly Bird. I think she's I been in a lot of Remy Martin. small movies and stuff. Arlene Fowler yeah. was just one yeah. of dozens of characters Carrie Preston has played over the years. Mm -hmm. She is an accomplished film, TV, and stage actor, having appeared in Hamlet, Lost, and My Best Friend's Wedding. That hasn't mm, changed yeah. with True Blood ending. She's since landed recurring roles on The Good Fight and most recently Brockmire as Elle in 2018. That year also saw her appear as a guest judge in an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> but her post-Blood high point might just be in 2016 when her work on The Good Wife officially became an Emmy-nominated role. To say nothing of her lead role on Claws. Number three, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, I knew he'd be one of the top ones. About yeah, Eric Northman was cool and all, but Skarsgård's post-Blood character Eric Perry Norman. Wright on Big Little Lies is where it's really at. Big Little His Lies. performance garnered immense amounts of critical acclaim, and he went on to win the SAG, Critics' Choice Award, I won't think of him as anything but Eric Andrew. on True Blood, He also though. starred in the yeah. potential but ultimately lacking star vehicle, The Legend of Tarzan. <laughs> in 2018, he starred alongside Michael Shannon in the BBC One spy drama The Little Drummer Girl. And he's set to star in the expected mega blockbuster Godzilla vs. Kong in 2020. Yeah, we see it. We've never seen Number any two, of them. Yeah, so we Stephen see Moyer. Yeah. Check that out. Thank you. Stephen Moyer was perhaps the breakout star of True mm -hmm. Blood. While These he are had the top acted two right in many here. shows, TV movies, and films throughout the years, it was Bill Compton that finally yep. garnered him some recognition. His time on the show also seemed to make him a happier person, as he married his co-star, Anna Paquin. Oh, they did marry! I didn't know that. that. As for professional work, Stephen landed starring roles in The Bastard Executioner and Shots Fired. In 2017, he starred as Reed Strucker in The Gifted, an X-Men-themed series that wrapped in February of 2019. It's not possible. Please, just let me finish. Number one. Anna, Anna Paquin. Paquin. Yeah, she, was 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 she was the main Anna character of it, basically. If Stephen Moyer yeah. was the breakout star of True Blood, Anna Paquin was the draw. She yeah. had quite the reputation going in, being the second youngest person to ever win an Academy Award, hmm. which she oh, did yeah. at just 11 years of age. Oh, that's Anna right, for piano or something. Roles, oh, okay. Such as Nancy I Montgomery think. in the CBC adaptation of Margaret Atwood's Alias Grace. Anna has also starred in the shows Bellevue and Flack, and she even landed a role in Martin Scorsese's Netflix extravaganza hmm. The Irishman, where she plays Robert De Niro's daughter Peggy Sheeran. In short, Anna Paquin's doing just fine. Yes, Do you uh, agree with our picks? Check out this yeah. other recent yes, clip from- uh, Yep, I liked this show. It would be one that would be interesting to go back and watch. It's all like vampires and stuff. I, I, I have to start yeah. figure, because I asked you earlier, I said it's vampires. Oh, I didn't hear you, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. I mean, I think- like any show, it's hard to get a little like far fetched and drawn out, but mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, especially yeah. the first several seasons. But yeah, yeah, I'm seeing pretty good, man. I might give it a check out. You know, yeah. look it up on Netflix. But yeah, Matthew, man, we definitely thank you for supporting yeah. the video quest. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memory, me. And a call. Catch you on the next. Awesome. Peace and love.